Hey guys, let us know with Crypto Marie Local and International. Obama speech writers reveal secret of that Trump D joke. To tell you the truth, guys, I did not know it was a D joke. Maybe I'm a little delayed. Even though when he put his hands together and looking at it, I still did not get it until later on people started to describe what it was. Former President Barack Obama's suggestive hand gesture. When talking about Donald Trump's obsession with crowd size at the DNC was improvised in the moment according to his former speechwriters who took a break from hosting the podcast Pod Safe America to work with him on it. They revealed on Wednesday, I should disclose once a staffer, always a staffer. I volunteered to help a little. Look at the speech a couple of times, John Favreau said during a podcast episode recorded just after his longtime boss left the stage Tuesday night before Dan Pfeiffer, former communications director for Obama, confessed that he helped out as well. Dan included the D joke, Favreau then joke, before clarifying that the hand gesture which most viewers seem to believe was a not so subtle reference to Trump's manhood was not in the script. Just so you all know, that was just in the moment. Favreau continued, he just put his hands on the podium. Or maybe he knew all along that that was a D joke and nobody else did but him. John Lovett, Obama's go-to joke writer during his time in the White House, added, On a more serious note, the host said they found Obama's address to be among the most persuasive of the speech at the DNC so far because it didn't operate from the assumption that the only thing that keeps people from voting for us is ignorance, as Pfeiffer put it again guys i thought it was amazing it was wonderful the obamas got it in them and uh the clintons and uh everyone else to tell you the truth all the guesses there they speeches were amazing were wonderful on point and on target nobody missed out okay period everyone is someone who we have to persuade and if they don't agree with us, and they don't have to agree with us on everything, but the reason they don't agree with us is not because they are wrong, or they are stupid, or they don't follow the news, or they ignorant, or they've been hood 